So I signed up for a scholarship recently with this anti-texting while driving group, and they sent me anti-texting thumb socks. <laughs> so my original idea for this video was I was going to talk about all the original fairy tales and how they're a lot more gruesome than the ones we have now and all that good stuff, but you probably already know that. But in preparation for making this video, I got this book. It is a book about all the old original fairy tales. And I borrowed it from my grandma and it was educational. So I started reading it and I'm a marker. I like marking things. So I started putting sticky notes and half sticky notes in all of the pages where I started marking patterns. So the first thing I marked were these pages right here, which are stories that are similar to what we have now with slightly different details, just little tiny things. The next thing I marked were these down here, which are all the stories that are pretty much exactly like the ones we have now. Then I marked these ones right here, which are stories that aren't named the same thing and have a lot of different details, but are essentially the same story as most of the ones that we know. And then I started marking these. These are stories where someone dies unnecessarily. Whether that be an innocent bystander, or someone's mother, or someone who was trying to help you that you just killed because it was more convenient for you. That would be these ones. As you can see, it's a much larger stack than any of the others. And it's very, fairly universal. So this book covers stories from England, Ireland, Germany, Norway, France, Czechoslovakia, Russia, India, and Aesop's Fables. Now, as you can see with the other ones, there are large gaps in places where in certain countries we didn't have as much in common or, you know, whatever. But this one, it's fairly universal that in every country, in at least one story, someone dies unnecessarily. I think the only country that didn't have that was Norway. I thought that was interesting. For example, this story from England called Molly Wumpy. I'd never heard of this before I read this book, but that's actually the name. See, look. Wumpy. But basically the story is her and her sisters get kicked out and a giant takes them in and then tries to kill them several times and so she tries to... It's basically a female version of Jack and the Beanstalk. But so the first thing that Molly does is when they get to the giant's house, the giant gives her and her sisters some straw necklaces and the giant's seven daughters some gold necklaces. And then in the middle of the night, Molly goes and switches the necklaces so that her sisters are wearing the gold ones and the giant's daughters are wearing the straw ones. And then the giant gets up and he feels for the straw necklaces and beats his daughters to death because they're the ones wearing the straw necklaces. That is seven people, seven innocent girls. We don't know their names. We don't know anything about them. For all we know, they could be like infants. Like we really don't know anything about these girls and they're dead. Then later on in that same story, Molly goes back to try and steal something from the giant, but the giant catches her and he puts her in a bag and long story short, she essentially tricks the giant's wife, who was nice to them in the beginning. She tricks the giant's wife into getting in the bag and letting her out and then the giant comes back and beats his wife to death. Did you really have to put the lady who was really nice to you at the beginning of the story in the bag? That seems a little extreme to me. Uh, maybe it's just me. So yeah, that is a lot of people dying unnecessarily. And some of these stories was like, okay, maybe that character might have deserved a little bit of punishment, but not to die. Like there's this one guy who he says something, I think there's, he says something mean about someone. I don't even remember what story it's in. He basically says something mean about his neighbor and his neighbor decides he wants to throw him in a lake. But it wasn't even really all that mean. It was like one of those non-comments. When was the last time you wanted to kill someone about a non-comment? I apparently struggle with old fairy tales. So I learned a couple things from reading this book. One, fairy tales can be gruesome and oftentimes completely unnecessarily. Two, there are a lot of stories that even though we came from different countries are completely universal, like maybe not the same names and stuff, but they're essentially the same story. And three, Norway had very, very tame fairy tales. 
If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button up there. I don't really know what site it's on, but it's up there somewhere. And check out my channel. I only have a few videos up, but I hope you like them. If you like this video, if you could click the like button down below me, and maybe the share button if you thought it was that cool, and that'd be really helpful. I would love you. So I know I promised that I would be better, and it's been like a month since I uploaded a video, and I'm sorry. My excuse this time is that my computer was being stupid. Actually, my main excuse is that I was going to do a collaboration with my cousin. I was really excited about it, but it kind of fell through at the last minute, so I didn't have anything to put up. That was a couple weeks ago, and sorry. If you still want to check out her channel, it, I will link it right here. It is called Random Glamours. I think it's pretty cute. I like it. That might be because she's my cousin. Well, my cousin and her friend. But I enjoy their videos. So my cousin's the redhead. Got big red curly hair. If you do, go check it out. That's my cousin. I do have some more videos planned. I have one that I'm really excited about. My director gave me permission to get a camera and go backstage and into the woods and film backstage. So I'm really excited about that because I got a lot of really cool footage. I'm just hoping that it turns out good because it was kind of dark back there so I don't really know what it's going to look like. But that should be coming up soon as soon as I get around to editing it. Alright, I'm making a promise to you guys here and now. Ready? Go! I'm going to have a new video up every Thursday. That is the goal. And if I don't do that, then you have permission to call me and yell at me. I only say that because most of my subscribers right now actually are my friends and have my phone numbers. If you don't have my phone number already, I'm sorry, I'm not going to give it to you, but you can rest easy in the fact that five people probably have already called me and yelled at me. So that is the goal. Every Thursday, it's going to happen because I have set the goal right now. That's what's going to happen. So. I will see you guys next week, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Am I in frame still now? Yes, I am. And they can see my Dr. Seuss hat. Awesome.